Hello everyone, from Buck and Jay Carmen Buck and here in his Stormscapes episode 162. So as you can see, I'm outside here. Oh, I almost dropped my computer. <laughs> yeah, it was not been good. <laughs> but anyways, um as you can see there, we got the sun shining real bright. Um it's a little bit that's a little bit of wispy clouds. Clouds are starting to come in. Uh, cause tomorrow here, we might be getting some snow here. As you can see, some more snow is melting. Uh, pretty windy today, too. Wind, wind kind of picked up compared to yesterday. Around the same temperature as yesterday, around like the mid to late 30s. Let's see if we can get in here today. Cause the episode 161, which should be linking right now, I couldn't. Alright, so they will open it. I don't know if I'll be able to get... Oh, for open fully. There's a bunch of ice over here as well. So, I don't know if I'll be able to fully. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of sliding on the ice here. I don't know if I'll be able to get this open because there's a bunch of snow. Well, I'm going to err on the side of caution and just not go back there. Just have all the snow and I don't feel like slipping and hurting myself. So, yeah. As you see, some more snow is melting. Uh,. Tomorrow we are going to have some snow, or we have to plan. We might get an inch or, we might get like a couple of inches, um, kind of like what we had on Sunday here, so, yeah. And if you want to go check one of those out, I guess I'll link episode 160 of Stormscapes, um, even though you can check out 159 and 150, which I'll also link, but, yeah, um, so tomorrow we're gonna have snow, like they've been saying, um, or at least some, or at least where I live, we are, and and um, it's gonna start around midday, like around eleven, twelve, one o'clock. So it makes it hard because um, I might be at school tomorrow, but I might not be. I'll have to see though what happens. Like I could get half day tomorrow. I could not. I doubt. I mean, I probably will be going to school tomorrow either way. I doubt I'll be fully off, but I'll have to see if I get like a half day or not. But we are definitely getting something tomorrow. And then we're like around like 9, 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow night. It's going to transition into. To rain and snow and then rain. So that, well, with that rain and snow, we might get some sleet in there as well. Or at least there's a potential gain from sleet. I bet. Um, so. Yeah. And then. And then. On Friday, it's basically all going to be rain for us today. Even though. Even though. Um, around like 9, 10 o'clock, 11, 12. Maybe even early in the Saturday morning, we might get a chance of getting some, uh, getting like a mix of rain and snow again, maybe some sleet, potential of sleet, um, and then also maybe some more, a little bit more snow. So, according to what my, um, my, uh, occupational therapy teacher, my OT teacher says, yes, I mean, I do have high functioning autism, so I need, I need occupational therapy, but, or OT, but, um, Basically, what she said is that, you know, we're going to get about, uh, 10 hours, 10 hours, of, I'm trying to see if I can see my breath, can't see my breath right now, but, you know, I have been able to see the past couple of days, but, basically, 10 hours of snow, basically, almost 24 hours of rain, so, yeah, again, we'll have to see how this plays out. I'm hoping to do at least one live stream on this tomorrow. I'll have to see, though, again, with how everything works out with my school and all that. Um, but, yeah. I think you see more snow melting off the Elantra. My dad started up yesterday. I think just to clear a little bit more snow off of it. I think you see it's a nice, nice shiny car. And it's going to get more snow on it tomorrow. <laughs> Mom, that work right now, but yeah, there's a leaf there covered in snow, as you can see. But yeah, um, 
And also, I have a lake in the town I live in. Um, and when I went, when I um, when my bus drove across it today, um, I actually saw like when I was getting home, I actually saw like most of the lake was unfrozen, but a little part of it like towards the shoreline was frozen. So. And I heard, like, you know, in January, it like, gets fully frozen over. And a lot of people do, like, ice ice skating and... A lot of people do ice skating and, and ice fishing and a whole bunch of other wintry ice activities on there. And, and then a lot of people end up falling through because it's just not... It just doesn't have, like, the support to hold them up. And they have to end up calling the fire department to help get them out. So, yeah. <sighs> you can think, you know, you don't want them to get hyperthermia, you know. <sighs> that would be bad. But, yeah. I think you see sun right there. Not really much else to talk about, but again, today it's significantly windier than yesterday. Yeah, I mean, especially this morning while I was waiting for my bus, it's cold. I mean, I feel like it's not as windy now as it was this morning, but it still is pretty windy though. Definitely windier than yesterday. It didn't really fall all that bad right now, but still pretty windy though. Or at least there's you know, there's wind. So, yeah. So I'm gonna end off the video because there's nothing more to talk about. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.